Welcome back folks, this is Daniel Garza from Costa Sur Fishing. I've got a quick video that I want to make on um, some of the jig heads that I use and that I'll be using this summer and uh, throughout the year. So I want to share this information with you. So stay tuned. Bienvenido, Daniel Garza aquí de Costa Sur Fishing. Tengo este video que, este breve video que les quiero enseñar. Y quiero, quiero decirles lo que estoy usando este verano y, y lo que uso durante el año para, para, este, para, para la pesca. Estos, eh, eh, hay una gran cantidad de, de, de rigs y, y, este, y carnadas este, artificiales que se usan, pero estas son las que las que yo uso y las que trabajan y funcionan para mí. Yo les voy a enseñar, eh, el video va a ser en inglés, pero yo les voy a enseñar exactamente lo que estoy usando y el nombre. So, si tienen alguna pregunta, pueden ir al, al canal abajo de la descripción y ahí les, ahí les, ahí les va, este, les voy a decir lo que estoy usando para que ustedes si lo quieren comprar, lo pueden comprar o usar o usar lo mismo. Pero eso es lo que, lo que está, lo, lo que funciona para mí. Vamos, vamos a ver primeramente. This right here is a really good hook. Okay, it's one of my favorites, and it's the one that my brother Robert uses, and uh, I know that MDLR used them for a really long time, and actually he's the one that uh, turned me on to them. He goes, hey man, this, these lures are pretty good. This one here is a watermelon red with, uh, it's, it's actually green, green um with uh you can't i don't know if you can see that but it's got some red flakes on it it's got some red flakes this one's really good i like it i like it and uh caught a ton of reds on it and i believe that innovation fishing bethel um when i first took them out fishing with me uh he had he had one of those bass assassin hooks and uh, right off the bat, we, we went fishing out to Sergeant. He was able to pick up, I think he picked up like a, like like three flounders on it because of the way it swims. And uh, he had a he had a really nice size red. Uh, I can't remember. He was he was really close to getting a, a slam that day. Uh, did really well. Um, he's a believer. He likes these as well. So these are actually pretty good. It really, it, it just, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to share something that is going to give you the best chances to catch, to catch a fish. And I just started using them last summer. Last summer for the first time, uh, a friend of mine, some of you guys might know him, a uh, trail chaser, David, he, uh, he, he put me onto these Slayer inks. And this right here is an amazing hook right here. This one is also a watermelon red, red eye. Um, unlike, unlike this one here, look at the way the weight is at, at the front. Okay, and these are all weedless hooks. This one, this is not really a weedless, but you can turn it into a weedless by putting the hook on top of the, on top of the soft lure. You'll make it weedless. But see this one here? And there you have it, that's the presentation. Most, the whole year, I'll use hoagies is my favorite lure. And I'll use the pumpkin color and the black. These are the colors that I use year round. Uh, the pumpkin color, I like to use them more in the spring, like right around this time. Um, if you notice what's in the water right now with all the, with all the uh, floods and stuff, you're gonna see a lot of crustaceans, a lot of small crabs, and they're these colors. They're the browns and the dark colors, the black. So I think right now, for some reason, or when it, after the rains, these colors work really, really well. So, um, so yeah, I'll show you right there. Okay, and here's one, here's the pumpkin seed, and this is just a regular black with red flakes, chartreuse tail. Okay, so this I'll throw every uh, year round, most, and I love to throw it in the summer. Let me show you real quick. I, I also wanted to mention something that I haven't. Uh, these are not gonna get left out, okay? Bugs, and bugs are, these little flat bugs are really, really good. They've, they've got a little rattle in it and they have a curl tail. Let me show you. Let me take it out of the packet and show you. There you go. You see that? And 
and there's a rattle right there. Didn't want to leave these guys out. They make a variety of bugs, and uh, you know they've got flat bugs, they got hot heads, they got all kinds of different bugs that you can use. You see that? Uh, these actually work pretty good when you're trying to go to a more low, pro, uh, lower profile. Uh, sometimes these are a little big, and what I like to do is I like to bite the head off and just make it a little bit smaller if I have to, if I want to go. And if they're still not biting, then I'll throw a little bugs, which is a little bit smaller, smaller profile. And usually something's going to work. And I'll get lucky and I'll, um, I'll get it with the bugs. All right. The third, uh, the other um, lure that I want to talk about is the death grip jig heads. These right here are the death death grips. Okay. And I've got one set up here and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. Here you go. This right here, these are the weedless. Okay, these are actually kind of cool. This is the quarter ounce weedless weedless hooks. I just like the way they the way they uh, this one is a quarter ounce. This is a quarter ounce. And I like the way they drop in the water. I, I, I started using these just recently, probably a, a few months ago. And they are, they are really good. They're the real deals. All right, so now that I've told you a little bit about the uh, Slayer Inks. Slayer Inks. Bass Assassin. Trout eye, I didn't really go over the trout eyes uh, too much. Uh, I do like them. They're hard to they're hard to get right now, um, and I haven't really. I've used them. Uh, I like to use them in November for for flounder. Um, I usually use an eighth ounce, and this is an eighth ounce. But uh, you know what? Let me let me tell you a little bit about them. You know, I'm getting excited because uh, I used them the other day. Well, I used them in uh, November for trout. I mean, uh, for flounder during the flounder run, and this one right here has got the head uh, separated from the from the from the hook. Oh, dude, this is really good, man. This thing, the flounder will get hooked up on this. This is actually really, really good, man. I love this one. Um, I don't use it as often for my reds and uh and i haven't really caught a red on it yet but my flounders this right here is a flounder pounder baby flounder pounder i love it it is and let me show you the package what it looks like there you have it right there it's, a, it's the uh, texas trout eyes jig heads um so yeah so so definitely something that you have to have in your tackle box then i'm gonna in a minute i'm gonna talk about all of the soft lures that i'm using there's a ton of stuff back here that i that i have and i don't use it all i keep going back to what what's been working for me okay i didn't even mention voodoo uh the mambo the mambo uh voodoo the mambo shrimp is uh, is amazing um the voodoo shrimp also really really good i think i may have one one second this is the package and this is a shrimp has nice little bead inside of it these are actually pretty good i like them so i didn't want to leave them out so yeah if you're wondering why i keep the empty package up there and that's just a reminder you know it's a thing it reminds me that i've got to go get another one to put back up there so that i can have it when i'm uh, when I'm going out fishing and I'm going to be using uh, that, uh, especially if I'm going to be using a popping cork, that's where I like to use them. Although I didn't catch, uh, I caught my personal PB trout over in Matagorda while I was fishing with uh, Joey Gremlin. Um, with that, with that color, and it was just on a free line. It worked pretty good. I don't know. I was. It had been a. It had been a tough day of fishing. Um, I was just about to get skunked. I felt like I was going to get skunked that day. And I saw Joey had one. I said, hey, man, let me, let me try one of those. And 
And uh, he did, and I'm glad he did because I caught my personal best, my PB. And the last hooks that I want to show you are the owner twist locks. This is a really good hook, probably it's probably my favorite now, and I use them all the time. Um, it's hard to say which is my all-time favorite or which one's my. They're all pretty good hooks. Um, I really like these, man. These are these are actually uh, the same as the the swim hooks, identical, except that the weight is a little smaller right there. See it? Very similar. This is a, a 16th, and um, I use these. These are smaller. I like to use these uh, when I'm doing a tandem rig, and um, these are a little bit lighter. There you go. That's the presentation there. All right, so now I'm going to show you just a couple of, uh, just briefly, a couple of uh, soft plastics that I use for the jig heads that I just showed you. I've showed you the uh, Death Grip jig head, and here's a packet. That's, I showed you the twist lock, okay. I also showed you the trout eye, the swim hook. And the Slayer Zings. Pretty much, these are the top five. The top five of my favorite uh, jig heads that uh, that I use very, very often. And just depending on the depth of the water, the water's lower, the water's higher, three feet, six feet, uh, four inches, whatever. I'm going to be using the size and the weight of the of the lure. All right, as I was saying, my favorite lure is hoagies. It's what I feel what works for me, what I feel comfortable with. Uh, but pretty much, you know, I've talked to a number of people, almost everyone in the fishing industry will tell you that uh, pretty much any kind of paddle tail is, is, is really good. Um, this uh, AM fishing, uh, these are glow. These are actually glow. These are actually pretty good, especially in the summer. And right now with the water the way it is, the darker colors are gonna be actually pretty good. Um, then I've got these bio baits. The DNA, it's called a DNA BioBase. These are actually pretty good. Some people don't like them because they're really hard. They're really hard to to uh, to 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 screw this in. These little twist locks. But what I usually do is I'll take the hook and I'll puncture a hole in it, and then I'll screw it in. You should have no issues if you do that. Okay. Uh, some Z-Mans. They work pretty good. Uh, just recently I started using the Deadly Dudley. A friend of mine just uh, turned me on to these Deadly Dudleys. This one here is Bay Chovy and it's actually the Blue Moon. But there's a Texas Roach and there's a Salt and Pepper one. I can't remember the name of it. But these are really, really, really good. I like to pair them up. These, these right here, I like to pair them up with the uh, Death Grip. Okay. So these are actually pretty good. So yeah, the Deadly Dudley is pretty solid. I made a couple of videos that show you that it's a real deal. Um, I think I'm running out on, on the, because I, I do use them. And I'm going to be using them in the summer a little bit more. A number of other Chicken Boy. Chicken Boy is pretty good. Uh, Down South Lures. Uh, this is a gold color. Slayers Inc. has a gold. A nice gold one that you can use. Uh, works pretty good depending on the clarity of the water um, Darker more murkier water. So you want to use darker colors the clearer the water you want to use lighter colors also, I want to say that uh, You know, there's a th there's just a number of other jig heads that you can just get yourself some cheap ones like this right here And these work pretty good. I don't use them as often and the reason I don't use these jig heads is because they're not weedless and it makes it sometimes it makes it really except for this one I made an exception for this one but um, they get hung up on the oyster and stuff for me this one's already seen some better days I've got to remove this one out. and uh, 
and so that's why some of some of these other jig heads I like to still have uh, plenty if, if I see them on sale I'll pick them up and I'll use them uh, something like this I'll probably put on a tandem rig and if there's no oyster I'll use it bump it off the bottom for flounder and stuff they work pretty good uh, pretty much any any colors uh, any anything with a paddle tail is going to work out there you you know you can you can catch uh, just about with anything uh, just uh, one thing is to have a plan uh, this weekend on June 5th we're going to be having a uh, a kayak junkie meeting in um, Brazoria County at the crew chain so you guys are invited to go if you guys want to meet us out there so far I've got about I've got about 15 to 20 kayaks already going out there so uh, come out there you know meet the guys and just have a good time man um, with all this rain and all this flooded waters just make sure that you're that you're packing have some heavy uh, some heavy jig heads uh, you probably want to use uh, anything above a quarter inch quarter ounce I'm sorry quarter ounce uh, jig heads half ounce and you know the waters are gonna be a little bit deeper but uh, you know should be for should be it should be a really really nice day it will be a little cloudy and it's supposed to rain during the week hopefully it does it does not rain because we need some of this fresh water to leave the area well that is it thank you so much for watching hope uh, you liked the video if you are not a subscriber please help me out by clicking on that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a like if you like the video. Click on that notification bell and uh, share your share this video with everyone you know. See you in the water. Peace out.